Hi, my name's Andy Fishburne. I'm faculty leader uh, of maths. I just wanted to share with you a short presentation of how you can help your child with their maths in Year 7 and, and at Key Stage 3 at Prince Henry's. So, Prince Henry's was one of the first schools in the country to adopt teaching for mastery. We work very closely with uh, the NCETM to ensure that we have the latest resources and teaching approaches. We have also slimmed down our scheme of work to cover fewer topics in Key Stage 3 so that students have a firm and deeper understanding of the basic concepts before moving on to the more complicated topics uh, in, in the maths. We aim to use more hands-on equipment in lessons so that students therefore understand how to move from the concrete to the pictorial and finally to the more abstract representations. This slide is a really good example of how the different representations can be seen. You can see how students can use the picture uh, to solve equations before actually knowing anything about the algebra. You'll know through primary school, students have already been used to seeing problem solving and reasoning and arithmetic. Um, and this next slide shows how these key concepts continue throughout Key Stage 3, uh, uh, key stage three and 4. Uh, our schemes of works have been designed to ensure that students uh, continue to revisit these prob uh, problem topics or concepts. Our low state quizzes and our more formal uh, half termly tests um, also help identify any areas and areas for improvement. In Key Stage 3, we test half termly using an arithmetic test or a topic test. Uh, this is an example of an arithmetic test which um, which we based on the year six um, test but we made the questions just a little bit more difficult. The single mark questions make it easy for students to identify areas they need to look at again to improve their understanding. This slide shows an example of a year nine topic test. You can see how we've included a mix of skills, reading and problem solving. Obviously this year, due to the lack of Key Stage 2 data, we need to set two papers uh, at the start of term. We have used these results to put our new Year 7 students into initial sets. As I mentioned in the letter sent home a couple of weeks ago, these initial sets will be reviewed following another assessment towards the end of this half term. Another issue I sometimes uh, we sometimes find is that students often forget to let you know about when they have their assessments. So the next thing I've included uh, is a screenshot from Firefly and uh, the purpose of this is to show you um, where we have saved uh, the PDF showing all of the uh, math assessment deadlines or dates even. Um, if you go into Firefly, go into Maths, Resources and then go down to Math Assessment Dates, you can download the PDF that's uh, shown to you there. Uh, so you can have a look at exactly when the, the dates um, of the assessments are. So a question many of you will be asking is, well, what can we do to help? So this year, due to obviously the quarantining measures, we will be setting more work on our, on our home loan platforms. Uh, we've again purchased Hegarty Maths. Um, Hegarty is really good, but please have a look at the link on Firefly on the same slide there. If you follow this link, it takes you to PowerPoints for students and, pa and parents. Here's a screenshot from one of the PowerPoints where it explains how the expectation is that students watch the video, make notes, and then after the video, they do an online quiz, again, in their books, which they can self-assess. Staff can look at the results 
and it identifies exactly which question uh, they had problems with and um, which we can give feedback on. So it's a really useful tool and something that you can work through uh, with your children at home. The year sevens will be given more training on this and how to use uh, other online uh, resources when they get their iPad shortly. So as well as Hegarty Maths, I'd also recommend um, for use uh, with home learning or if students are having difficulties with a, a given topic, My Maths, which we subscribe to as well, ED Diagnostic Questions, that is a free service, Just Maths we subscribe to, and finally Corbett Maths is a really good resource. And again, on this slide, I've shown how on Firefly, if you go into the revision materials, uh, they are under a folder, under Maths Parent Consultation Evening, Year 7, and then underneath that, you can either click on Arithmetic Skills uh, or one of the other folders to access um, on, well, online worksheets but also linked videos on Corbett Maths. They are a really useful tool, something you can work through together as well. Finally, um, if your child does need any extra maths equipment and wishes to buy it through school, uh, obviously due to COVID restrictions, the maths shop um, has now moved uh, uh, online. And so again, to access this in it, to go through Firefly, click on Math Shop, and there is information in uh, that red box for them to follow. Um, I hope this information has been useful. Um, if you do have any further questions, then uh, please contact us uh, uh, on uh, the uh, school's uh, email address there, uh, either Mrs. Ray, uh, who's um, in charge of QC3 or myself. Okay, thank you.